everyone! Today I'm going to read Star Stable Reviews by Kids on a website called Common Sense Media. The first review is written by a teen who is 17 years old and their username is I Hate Star Stables, so I can kind of see where this is going. They say this game is 12 plus and they give it 1 out of 5 stars. This is a horrible game. This is a very bad game. I tried it and played for about five minutes and then it got boring. First of all, it gives you no direction about how to do half of the stuff. Like feeding and caring for your horse, for instance. It does not tell you how to do that, but you need to figure out yourself where the directions to complete the quest are. I don't think it would be that hard for a 17 year old to do that, but I, I mean, I don't know, maybe it is. Plus, you can probably move about five steps before running into something and having to quote-unquote call for pickup. Sometimes that does happen where you get stuck, but I think they're really exaggerating. Not to mention that there are different servers, and when one of these servers gets full, you have to go through all of the trouble of finding a new server, and you lose all of your friends in the old server. Uh, nobody forces you to leave. I'm pretty sure you're allowed to stay on your server if it gets full. This game has many flaws and improvements it can make. I personally don't think this game was even ready for release. After level 5, it makes you pay $74 for a lifetime membership. Total ripoff. Minecraft is only what? $25 lifetime membership? It is way better in terms of programming. It also has horses you can ride than Star Stables. I mean, I like Minecraft, but the horses are nothing compared to Star Stable. I would consider not even bothering with this game unless you are a huge fan of horses. Okay, well, the people playing this game are going to be huge fans of horses, so I don't really understand this review. The next review is by a teen who is 13 years old. She says it's age 9 plus and 1 out of 5 stars. Eh not worth actually paying for. I myself bought a lifetime account, mainly because I played the game for a while for free and decided to waste my money. Let me tell you, it is not worth it. The graphics and programming suck. Every time I played, some glitch was pissing me off. Not to mention the fact that now they delete your account if you don't consistently play. I don't think that's true. I have never heard of that happening to someone. Me, myself, I'm a student. I don't have time to play all the time. So last week my account was suspended. It read, quote, your account has been suspended. Check your email for a message from the support team. Outraged, I obviously checked my email. I think this person actually got banned for a real legitimate reason. I don't think they would just get banned because they hadn't been playing. I paid $75 for this crappy game that is honestly boring as hell. I checked my inbox at least three times and searched for it. Guess what I saw? Absolutely nothing. I messaged them asking them to tell me what I did to deserve this. Three days later, no response. I'm absolutely horrified at the customer service and the amount of disrespect for players. Just because I don't play for a while doesn't mean you get to throw away $75 of my money. Don't buy this game. Go buy Overwatch or CSGO. These games are amazing. By the way, I'm a girl gamer. So you can't say I like those games over Star Stable because I'm a boy. Good day and don't waste your money. I don't think anyone cares whether you're a girl or a boy, but I mean... The next review is by a teen who's 13 years old and says... <coughs> and says Star Stable is age 15 plus. Again, one out of five stars. Parents beware. Star Stable is very unprofessional and I have example of this. Firstly, the censorship is terrible. I have a story of my experience on Star Stable and believe me, it's not a good one. A girl bullied me very badly. I was already pretty depressed to begin with since having to leave school due to issues I don't want to talk about on here. And because she was doing this, I was thinking of ways to kill myself. She wouldn't leave me alone. She would send me mail in the game calling me a hacker, a liar, a bully. She said I deserved to get cancer and get hit by a car. She told me to die many times. 
She would also call me a slag and say I was ugly and worthless. I'm sorry that happened to this person, but they really should have just ignored this person from the start. The next review is by a teen, 14 years old, says the game is age 10 plus and gives 4 out of 5 stars. I've been playing SSO since 2013. You cannot enjoy the game thoroughly unless you have purchased a membership, which is very costly now. The prices for both membership and star coins have gone up by so much, nobody can afford anything anymore, and sometimes you just can't help yourself but to buy them because some of the horses in the game are just too awesome. You don't have to buy anything. It used to be just $65 for a lifetime membership, now it's $109 in the gift shop. I've made great understanding friends. However, some of the players ruin it again on North American servers where it is the worst. I don't think you can say it's the worst on any particular server because you don't know what it is like on the rest of the servers. The chat is heavily filtered to the point where you sometimes cannot say a simple sentence in America because they comply with Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Drama is also a huge thing in this game. People will easily start a drama wave over stupid reasons to the point where you just have to fight them back. You shouldn't fight anyone. You should just ignore them. Oh my gosh. The next review is from a kid who is 10 years old and says this game is for 18 and up. <laughs> this, oh my gosh. <laughs> Terrible, took my mind away. I love Star Stable a lot. I didn't think that this would happen though. Love Star Stable too much. I bought five times a 10,000 star coins because all my friends on the game had loads of horses when I just had me, when I just had me. <laughs> And I spent 580 pounds for just some stupid star coins to buy stupid horses on the game. I am sure I won't play the game again. Parents, look out. Your this game is always expensive. <laughs> Your the- <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read the review. Your this game is always expensive and it's like sharks in the sea eating fish. They take your money. <laughs> What? And they also some players swear. I knew all my swear words. <laughs> I knew all my swear words after someone said them. Star Stable have chat moderators. I am shocked they let her get away with swearing in this game. Again, beware parents let your kids play Roblox or Minecraft or Sims 4, but not Star Stable. I am so confused. So confused. The next review is from a teen who is 14 years old and says the game is for age 14 plus, 5 out of 5 stars. It won't let me get in the game to play on the chocolate cupcake server with my favorite YouTuber Honeyheart C. No thanks. The next review is by a teen who is 15 years old, says this game is ages 6 and up, and gives a 1 out of 5 stars. For little kids. Star Stable is a lot of fun for little kids who want a horse or pony. I think this game should be for the ages 6 to 12 because if kids officially become teens, I think they need to focus on other thing and other games because this game is really childish. I mean, no they don't. I've seen 50 year olds enjoy this game. It's really personal opinion whether you like it or not. It's not that I don't want 13 year olds to play this, but I think they could better play other games. Also, Star Stable is really expensive if you want to be Star Rider. Kids seriously put all their money in this game to buy virtual horses and ponies. I wouldn't let my child play this because it is just a waste of money, time, and fun. The next review is written by a teen, 13 years old, says the game is age 8 plus and 4 out of 5 stars. Can't get a horse, so I have EF, star coins, for every horse. And when I try to get one, I'll pick out a name, click next, and the screen says, connect a win, error, and kicks me out. Other than that, Star Stable is the best horse game ever. So please fix fast, Star Stable crew. That was in 2017, so I don't think that's a problem anymore. The next review is a teen, 14 years old, says the game is 8 and up, 
two out of five stars, haven't gotten to play, then how are you writing this review? I just downloaded this game for the first time and it has only been a total letdown. First off, I noticed you can only get to level 5 without paying. They do say this right on the website, but it's obvious they are in it to take a lot of money from parents. I've been trying for 5 hours to get onto a single server and I've changed multiple servers. None of them work and they are all full or not connecting, so it is very frustrating for a kid. They need bigger servers and it really shouldn't cost as much as it does, especially if you can't even get onto play in the first place. This was written by a teen who is 14 years old, says the game is age 7 plus, and 1 out of 5 stars. Terrible. Unless you pay enormous amounts for the Star Rider thing, you literally can't do anything except taking care of your horse and run around like you've totally lost it. Do not download unless you like paying for an unrealistic game. Definitely don't think it's value for money. Also, I don't know about your computer and server, but for me, it is so slow. It's straight out frustrating. The next review was written by a teen who is 13 years old and says the game is for age 10 plus, five out of five stars. Highly addictive, warning. I was really sick the other day, and as I was home from school, I decided to check out the popular GameStar stable, and I loved it. I ended up using all of my savings to become a member only the next day. The game has amazing graphics and awesome quests, and time just flies when you play. However, there's one major issue. I don't know if anyone experienced the same thing as I did, but when I went to bed that night, all I could think about was the game. I was playing the game in my mind, and I couldn't fall asleep. I have experienced this two nights in a row now, and I'm getting very fed up. I can't control my mind. I think you need to talk to someone. I have made a choice to not continue playing, and it is a shame that I've paid 50 bucks for a membership. I hope you listen to my advice so that you don't need to experience this. Okay, so the review says 5 out of 5 stars, but you... what? The next review is by a teen who is 13 years old, says this game is age 11 up, and gives 3 out of 5 stars. There will be too much cost. I have been playing this game for two years now. For the first year, I put no cost in this game. I played for free. Just recently, I have been wanting Star Rider and I convinced my parents to give me Star Rider Lifetime. I had to pay it with my own money. Now that I have it, I have been spending my Star Coins all on horses. I have four horses. I never bought any tack or anything, so I have hardly any Star Coins and I really want three horses and I want tack. So for parents who are reading this, I wouldn't get this game. They bring the prices way too high. I never bought any star coins, but I really want to. And if you do get this game and you say no for buying things on this game, there are hacking websites that your kids could get into and get into lots of trouble. What? I know this because I heard some people on the game talking about it. What I think Star Stable should do is give people free star coins or horses for getting first place in competition or highest records, stuff like that. If people stop playing the game, they will probably do this. The next review is from a kid who is 11 years old, says the game is for age 10 plus and 4 out of 5 stars. Fun, but a few problems. You will soon find yourself riding in a fun, fantastic storyline. Now on to the problems. Bullying is pretty common. To avoid it, I would recommend just to stay out of drama. There also is a minimal amount of dating, but eventually you will come across it. You may be thinking, girl, you can't make a boy player. How will you date? Well, unless a player is les, if you don't know what le Okay. What? 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 Okay. Help. <laughs> Boys can create a girl character with short hair. If you truly are a girl and want short hair, I think you shouldn't unless you want other girls hitting on you. What? Last but not least, the creepiness. Honestly, this game scares me a bit with the storyline, music, computerized characters in the storyline, upsetting places such as Devil's Gap or the Witch Pie's house, weird sounds characters make when they talk, and of course, having to download it. Wow, downloading it's the scariest part. Downloads sometimes contain viruses, and once when I downloaded Star Stable, I got a virus warning from my McAfee antivirus program. Apparently it was a hacker and not Star Stable based on YouTube videos. Well then, it isn't even a problem. It wasn't even Star Stable. But it still scares me. 
In my opinion, this game should be for mature 10 year olds and up. Thanks for reading! Those are all the kids reviews that I will be reading. Let me know if I should do a parent reviews edition. I think these were really interesting. Some of this info they're giving is definitely false. I've never read so much false information. Some things were actually pretty reasonable though, you know? Let me know what you think about these reviews and thanks for watching, bye!